Hello, Steamit. Hello, YouTube. Merry Christmas. Merry Trimble and Happy New Year. Hope you've had a really lovely one with family and friends and uh, looking forward to the new year. So I thought I'd come at you with another Pixar video tutorial because um, I just had this idea that I wanted to kind of do this uh, dog tag effect, as you can see. And um, yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to start using it as a sort of signature thing. But anyway, whatever I use it for, I, I quite like. I like this. Um, I like this effect. So I thought, you know what? I'll I'll show you guys how to how to do it. So if we come over here, as you can see, I've got various various layers here. I've got a couple of superfluous ones, probably. But um, but yeah. I'll I'll take you through I'll take you through the through the processes and you can see here I've stretched out my layer bin so that we've got a we've got a bit of a room to work in. Okay, so I'm going to just put this over here to one side and just as you can see we've got the same uh, same image here of the dog tag that I cut out of a picture. Um, so yeah, so the first thing we would do uh, is, as you can see, I've duplicated, that was the original layer, um, and I simply duplicated it and called it a uh, tag, or rather that's a copy, but it doesn't really matter anyway. That's the tag layer. So the first thing we need to do is to get our text down. So I have chosen this particular uh, font Zork. I quite like it. Um, I'm going to start a little bit bigger. I'm going to just go to sort of about two, ooh, no, a bit much, about 250, something like that, 251. Um, I've chosen this color. The, the way I got the color was I sampled it from a sort of medium tone area, somewhere around like like this. I don't want to do it again because I'll probably end up grabbing the wrong one. But yeah, it's something like this. I, I grabbed um, and, you know, and that's what I used for my lettering. So yeah, I'll, I'll just show you actually. It doesn't really matter. But there you see that's kind of darker than I just had. So it was somewhere around there, I reckon. Maybe there. That looks, that looks about right. But I'm going to cancel that because I've already got the color selected, as you can see. Okay, so Simply, uh, I'm going to type in caps, and I'm just going to type Crypto G. Oops, can't spell my own name, Crypto G. There we go. Um, and often when we do these tutorials, I end up doing one that I like a bit better. So I'm going to design this one slightly differently. I'm going to have the Crypto G a bit, a lot more central. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to duplicate. I'm not going to duplicate yet. I'm going to say okie dokie. Then I'm going to what I've what I've actually done. I'm going to come back to here actually a second so that I can show you what I've done here. If we go to any one of my script layers, so like Crypto G, uh, if you come down here and you look at the layer styles, which is just here, we can see that I've added a bevel. And if you click on the word. We can see that I've added an inner bevel for for color for the highlights, white 100. Color for the low lights, I chose again, I chose a kind of darkish uh, section of here, but I sampled directly from there because I wanted my shadow to be roughly the same color as the darkest pretty much the darkest spot. So something like this here, if you can see my mouse, that's probably a bit too dark. It's getting close to black, so I probably kind of came around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that. Um, a very easy thing to do if you want to paste layer styles. As you guessed it, you would simply right click and go down to copy layer style. You can't see my menu, so I'm just going to do it from here. I'm going to go uh, layer, um, Oh, you can't actually do it in the layer, but take my word for it. I have right clicked over here and I've said copy layer style. So I'm going to come back to our image now and I'm just going to simply right click over 
the layer I want and I'm going to find paste layer styles and I'm going to paste it. And so there you see, you see already the bevel has given us uh, a very similar finish to the one that I showed you at first. Not quite the same, but uh, we're getting there. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to duplicate the layer twice because I want to write steam it and I want to write 2016. So I'm going to uh, duplicate layer and duplicate layer. Right, so then the first one, so we're on Crypto G copy. So all I need to do, and I'm still on A here on the left, the text tool. So all I need to do is just click over it will come up and I'm just going to move it straight down and I'm going to write steam it instead of crypto G. Okay, uh, oops, I went to, there we go, I want cat steam it. That's about lined up, I'm going to use this uh, kind of line here around the text to line it up. Crypto G steam it. Uh, da -da -da. Let's say okay. Okay to that. See, before when I did it, actually, uh, just quickly go there. Before when I did that, I actually made the Steam It and the May 2016 a little bit smaller than I made the Crypto G. Um, but I'm going to leave it the same size at the moment. But before I made it smaller because I wanted uh, Crypto G to be kind of more prominent. So, okay, I'm going to come up to my layer copy here, Crypto G copy. Still on the text tool, text over, simply move down, let's move that out of the way. And we're gonna go to uh, I'm gonna say May 2016, which is when I joined Steemit. Okie dokie. Simple as that. Right now I'm gonna say I'm gonna go up to my layer menu here and I'm gonna say open image as layer because I have an old Steam logo which is, you can't see my folder, but it will pop up any minute, there it is. Um, we're on that, oops, sorry, no, I don't want to be on the text tool, I want to be on the move tool, so I can move the logo. I'm going to move it up to here. Yeah, that's about right. And then, of course, I've still copied that layer style, so I'm going to go over to the right here. I'm going to say right click, um, and I'm going to paste the layer style. As I said, you guys, for some reason, you can't see my menu when I do that, but uh, yeah, it's there if you right click. Right, so now I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to do that yet because I want to color it. So I'm just going to um, come here to my paint tool and I want it basically, I want it the same color as this. I'm not sure if I've got it the same color actually. I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to just take this color here. Yep, that looks right. Come on to my paint bucket tool uh, and I'm going to do this one for the middle one. And then for the, I've got a, if you see here, look, if you just follow my mouse to the left here, for the color palette at the bottom, I'm just choosing a slightly darker gray now. Is that dark enough? Yeah. And just let's see if that's dark enough. Uh, and then I'm going to just paint because I want to um, represent. Yeah, that's, that could be darker actually. So I'm just going to take my sampling tool and I'm going to sample a bit of gray somewhere here. Let's try this bit here. Yeah, there we go. Come back up to my bucket and there we go. That's, that's kind of more like it. So I'm just trying to recreate the light and the dark blue, uh, but do it in gray instead. Okay, so I've done that. I'm just gonna edit free transform. I'm gonna keep my finger on shift and I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. Um, and move that over to there, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna click off, agree that I want the changes. Now I'm just going to come down here to the layer menu. I'm going to duplicate this layer at the bottom, layer copy. I'm going to call it, rename it texture. Texture, that needs to be in caps. There we go, texture. Uh, and then we're going to come right up to the top. Oh, what's that layer? 
play rate. Uh, does it need to be there, does it? Oh, no, that just came. Oh, yes, it did. Sorry. There we go. That's why you need to name your layers. So we'll call that logo. Right. We're aware. Right, so come up to the texture. And as you've probably guessed by now, we're going to... Um, oh, actually, before we do that, we're going to add a filter. And we're going to add some noise. And the noise is going to be quite subtle. Um, something like 29, I believe. Yeah, 29. That's about right. You don't want it too much. Okie dokie. Now, as you've probably guessed, we're going to add a layer mask. Add layer mask, which will hide it. And then we're going to come up to our brush here. And we're going to go uh, 25. And we're just going to simply make sure you're on, obviously, you've selected the layer with the mask on on the right hand side. And we're just going to simply draw in like that. Okay, I'm going to draw this in and uh, then I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to come back and we're going to finish off the effect. Okay, thank you. This is Hi, Steamians. Um, I haven't quite finished yet, actually. I was just um, painting on the, uh, the texture layer and I just suddenly realized something. Um, and it's because as I was zooming in, I don't know if you can see this on your screen. But as I was zooming in uh, to do some more painting, I realized that the lettering uh, was kind of going out of sync. There you go. You can see it there. And if you see there, look, if I, I'll turn off the texture layer and I'll turn it on just so you can see. Um, and let's turn it on. There we go. So if you see there, you can see how the letters aren't lined up. However, when I zoom out, when I zoom out, they suddenly get lined up and stick. And I was like, hmm, why is that? That doesn't usually happen. That's a bit strange. And that kind of makes things very difficult if you want to zoom in and out. Um, and it's because, of course, I didn't rasterize the layers. <laughs> so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to just rasterize uh, all of these layers. Um, I'm on the wrong thing. I shouldn't be on filter. I should be on layer and go down to rasterize layer. Uh, go to Steamer and rasterize layer. And then go to OG and rasterize layer. Layer. Rasterize. So, yeah, I did actually forget that step. Obviously, after you have. Um, oh, look, can you see there? Now I'm going to have to wipe that off and start again. So, I'm going to go back up to my texture layer here go back to my texture layer and rub it out because of course the without getting into the kind of mathematics of it the program wasn't seeing that layer in the same way we would expect it to it wasn't because it wasn't rasterized which is which basically means put into pixel um these are the, the effects that i was laying on wasn't actually coming on to the lettering it was just acting on those styles and then the letters were uh, independent so look i'm going to i'm not going to do this now i'll do just one or two just so that we can see because i am actually doing this live as, as we go together um but i just wanted to show you okay so i'm on the texture layer there and so now when we sort of draw some nice textures on oh up and then we zoom in and out. Actually, that wasn't a rasterized layer, was it? So, <laughs> so there we go. Let's put this around this. Oh, when you do this, this is another thing that I wanted to say to you. Try not to obviously get any on the bevel. Um, but most importantly, don't leap onto the side of the uh, the shadow, the darker bevel. You can kind of go over, you can get away just about with going over the lighter bevel, but not the darker one. It starts to look odd. So I'm just going to end that there. There we go. And now I'm going to zoom in to my heart's content. And yeah, as we can see, it's stuck. So yeah, so if you are following this tutorial, um, please uh, 
forgive me, um, just after you've duplicated the, you know, whatever text, once you've got your text prepared and you've got your layer style and you've got it, um, yeah, the actual text itself, font, all of that sort of thing, and you're happy with that, then you um, uh, rasterize the layer. And if, if, like me, you have a few things to say, then, you know, you write it, get it how you want, duplicate the layers so that you can then keep it all the same and just type the different things in like I did and then rasterize them individually. Okay, so um, that's basically what you should be doing. Right, so I want to now just finish this off quickly. Um, we're going to open image as a layer and I'm going to bring in uh, the image that you might have uh, just glimpsed behind at the beginning, which is the uh, dog tag. So sorry about this, you can't actually see my folder, but I am, um, yeah, I think that's the one, the hanging tag. Oh, much, 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 much smaller. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to free transform that, obviously. Edit. Free transform. Form. I'm going to put my finger on shift so it stays the same. Come up here. There we go. I want to make this quite big because I've got quite a big image. There we go. I'm going to take it all the way over there. And I'm going to move it move them into the middle. There we go. change this after the tutorial but I want to just make sure that you see me do this so yes we're going to apply the changes um, and then we're going to duplicate so now we're going to merge down actually so I'm just going to turn this off and I'm going to merge everything down Do -do, merge down. So merge down. I'm right clicking by the way. You can't see, as I've said before, you can't see my right click menu with the screen recording software. Um, but I've just merged everything down. Um, uh, I'm going to turn off the texture layer because we're not actually using that at the moment. Okay, perfect. Right, now we will, um, if I had, I would have, you know, I'll turn on the texture layer, um, but obviously I should merge that down as well, um, but I'm not going to because I haven't, I haven't drawn in yet. Um, so yeah, so let's pretend I have and merged it down, but I'm going to just turn it off. Right, so then I would take the new flat image, put it above, um, turn on the layer underneath, and turn down the opacity of my tag layer. Then I'm going to edit free transform. Edit free transform. Uh, shift um, as I move my my, what do you call it, my points, um, and then I'm going to turn around here, and I'm going to go to that, and I'm going to move to there, yeah, uh, let's try and stretch that slightly, yeah, I quite like that, because it's stretching out the letters, without performing it too much, yeah, about there. Okay, so I'm going to click off that. I'm going to click off that and say yes. Then I'm going to duplicate the layer. Duplicate layer. Yeah, tag copy is fine. Uh, I'm going to say edit free transform. Uh, I'm going to turn it around so 
that it matches the orientation, the angle of our second tag. I'm going to move it to there. roughly the same place and a little bit covered because that'll be part of our style. Click off, say yes, 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 yes. Okie Then I'm going to call this tag copy. I'm actually going to rename it so I don't get confused and call it bottom. It's going to be on the bottom uh, or up, it's going to be below. There we go. It's going to be right on the bottom, just underneath tag. There we go. Right now, we're going to up the opacity to both of our layers. Tag one, tag two. There we go. Uh, and I could sort of leave it like that, you know, I could kind of leave it like that. But um, what I would do, what I was thinking is adding layer masks to both of them. Um, and you probably see me throbbing around the point there. There we go, to my mouth. Okay, uh, add layer masks to the bottom. There we go. Add layer mask to the top. There we go. Um, and then that's it. And then just simply, simply brush them in. Let's get a nice brush, nice big brush. Basil brush. You're old enough to remember basil brush. Remember his um, catchphrase. Right, so yeah, and there we go, and that, and, and that is essentially uh, it. So that's quite a nice little, and I might do something different for the tutorial because I quite like the chain in there, so I might do it from a, a further um, kind of distance. And also I'll take more care so that these rims aren't there. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously I don't want the rim, I just want... Uh, the background and the uh, writing and then of course let me just come to this one here tag bottom and we'll say uh, that should stay underneath because it's on the bottom yeah yeah there you go even if i do oh no right it doesn't okay it doesn't i thought it would but it doesn't but that's cool because uh of course you can just oops i didn't want to do it all um because of course you can just judge it there we go. So that looks like it's, you know, it's kind of underneath now. And that's what I would do. I would do it right up to the shadow like that. There we go. And then just kind of work around, work around and, and fill it in. But I'm not going to do that now because you obviously, you get the picture. Uh, by the time the video goes out, I would have done it nicely. And um, yeah, there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this nice little tutorial. I quite like this effect uh dog tag effect can use it for many things um so yeah i hope you enjoy it oh it's got that quite, that quite, uh, hard to talk and uh work sometimes but yeah anyway hope you enjoy it and um and i hope you get to use it okay thank you Simeon. see you later bye bye